Well, the right combination to unlock the power of love is to be able to give and to forgive. And one of my favorite things someone said is, forgiveness is such a lovely idea until we're asked to forgive. That's right, until you have something <laughs> to forgive, yeah. Exactly, it's so much harder than but it sounds. But in our culture, we have this. Love is never having to say you're sorry. Oh, yeah, that's a Wasn't that brutal? silly idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's get going. Why do you need to forgive? You need to forgive because inevitably when you dance with somebody, somebody's going to step on your toes. And because be me. And when we have such a huge impact on each other, I think the key moments we really need to forgive in our relationships are when, for some reason, we have this real strong needs come up in us for love and connection and soothing, and our partner misses it. And we end up feeling alone right at that key moment when we needed our partner the most. And, and those we have are the to hear the hardest it. things to forgive. Yes, because they are. We are they, they we're hurt raw. deep, right? They hurt deep. I'm thinking raw. Yeah, it's like, you know, people talk about things like miscarriages or medical diagnosis or being fired from a job. And somehow that's just the moment when we need our partner to be there. And for some reason, they're, sometimes they're trying so hard to be a good spouse. They're busy doing all the problem solving and they forget to just turn and hold us and mm. soothe us. And, wow. and that blocks our ability to really turn to our partner and trust our partner. So we have to heal it. But we know how to heal it. We know how to heal it. We, we just do. done some great, yeah. We've just done some great research on it that really, we know how to do it. We know the sequence. We even know what, a, what has to happen for an apology to work. Okay. You know? First of all, you've got to have a basic safety in the relationship. So we don't ask people to come in and immediately do forgiveness conversations. You're in hold me right. tight, it's conversation five. Yes. Okay, right. But once you've done a bit of work in creating safety, first of all, the person who's hurt has got to be able to really say what hurt them. And sometimes that's hard. Yes. You've got sort of an emotional soup, right? But you've got to be able to sort of put your finger on it and articulate it and, and say what's hurting you. And you've got to have, the other person's got to be able to start to listen and not get all defensive. So identify the pain. Yeah. The other person's got to hear the pain. Be able to hear the pain and step past, oh my goodness, this means I'm a dreadful partner. Oh my goodness, this person's telling me I'm never going to make it. And just listen to the other person's pain, right? And, and understand that we all hurt the people we love. We can't not hurt the people we love, right? That's just the way love is. Right. Right. But the key thing that needs to happen is, often what happens is couples say, one person says, well, I'm really, really hurt but listen, my voice sounds angry, right? Yeah. And the other person says, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, How many ways do you want me to say sorry? Yeah, like, but, I'm but, sorry. But, but the tone you know, ain't there, it's, you're ticking me off, right? It doesn't work, no. So, okay, what, what I me? asked my husband, because <laughs> we were talking about this, and I said, oh, yeah. who do you think says I'm sorry most in our relationship? And he said? Okay, well, first of all, you have to realize that I already know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is, I do, right? And he, this is what my husband says. Oh my goodness, I do way, way more than you do. Did you hear the double way? Yeah. Okay, way, way yeah. But, more but than you do. But you're not alone because we kind of did the same little research in our home and I think I say it a lot more than my wife and she said, oh no, she, she well, says Well, you guys, you both, got, you both got to be able to do it, okay? Yeah. True. But these key, the, and I think people can do it, you know, about small hurt feelings. When you get these big issues, these sort of injuries that people can't let go of, then you've got to really work at it a bit more and be able to tune into your partner and hear your partner's hurts. And what we noticed when we looked at couples on tape is the thing that makes a good apology is if I've hurt you and right. you tell me yes. what you're hurt, you gotta, it's not just the words, you gotta look into my face and I gotta be able to tell you I'm sorry in a way that you know that you're hurt hurts me. I feel it as well and it brings up sadness and now regret my hurt in matters. me. That's it. My hurt matters. And then I can soothe you and that's like I healing love that the hurt. Word soothe. Like I you don't think of using the word soothe with adults. And I think hey, that's powerful. Adults need soothing. That's oh my absolutely but, but guys are out there just I'm guilty. 
I, I just, I, I don't know how to soothe for crying out loud. I'm, I said I'm sorry. I mean, what more do you want me to do? They're looking for that, right? They don't understand that what they, they've got a huge gift to give, which is this emotional comfort and telling their partner, I see your pain and, and it's legitimate and I care yes. about it. Sometimes that's all it takes. Yes. But we get all defensive and so we say, no, you're not really hurt. Or if you are hurt, you shouldn't be. Yeah. And we have just just got the tip of the iceberg and talking about forgiveness. So you've got to go to our website because we have this research that's been done on these steps towards forgiveness. We also have a great article on to forgive and forget. Sue, thank you. You are incredibly welcome. On behalf welcome. of relationships, for your research and hard work, we are indebted. Come back, we'll give you the bottom line.